What's going on guys? I'm back with another video. I didn't have much planned um, on doing a video for today. I came in, fed, cleaned, um, but this guy decided to shed. If you don't know, this is GMD. This is probably my highlight pick of the clutches that hatched so far this year. It's probably going to be, because the other ones, the genetics won't be able to create nothing that's like this. The best thing I can create a out of the next clutches is uh, if the female and the male, if, if the female prove out translucent, translucent wearables, and they're gonna be uh, a higher percentage uh, hybrid. But this guy just shed out, so I thought I'd just show him off since I didn't have any other videos planned for today. Again, his name is GMD. He's pretty much gonna be. Uh, mascot of genetically modified dragons. If you're just tuning in to my channel, uh, I got a lot of plans for him. I did a couple videos of some females that I'm going to be taking him to. Um, again, he's a he's a hybrid. He's one eighth hybrid between Viticeps and Barbata. He's a leatherback dunner. And he's genetic stripe. Um, leatherback is a reduction of the size of the scales on the back. So they're not raised as much as they normally would be on a normal dragon. And being that he's dunner, it changed the shapes of the um, actual scales on the back. So that's why they are raised a little bit, even on the leatherback. Um, you can't get leatherbacks that are smoother than this that are dunners. And then genetic stripe is, of course, that stripe down there. And he's also a translucent. He's not like a super high, high quality translucent. Like you could still see some brown in his eyes. And his stomach is not as blue as it could be. But he, nevertheless, he's a translucent. So he will produce um, translucent babies. And those babies could be better looking translucent than he is. But for purpose I'll be using them for. I will not be breeding them to any visual translucent. Um, he's 100% head hypo. He's 66% probable head zero and 50% possible head with blit. So I'm really hoping that he proves out for everything. If he proves out for with blit and zero, well, yeah, with blit and zero, I'll be very happy. Um, I have females um females that I'm growing up that can be bred to him to prove him out. Um actually I'm gonna show you one of the females I think she's getting ready to shed. I just purchased her. She's one hundred percent head wiblet. I think I'm gonna breed her to him and I have um I think I have one other female that's head wiblet. But I have one for sure. I'm gonna get her real fast and show you guys her. Um she wasn't shed when I unboxed her, so let me see if she shed out. It looked like she was shedding out um, a little earlier today, but I'm not sure how far she got with it. It just was her head earlier, so let me get her real fast and show you her. Okay, she hasn't um, peeled her back yet, but you can see her head has started to shed. You can see that color starting to pop out as well. Um, her back is pretty much yellow. Oh, you can see the shed is break broken right here. So it's any day now she'll be done probably tomorrow because it's already popping open by itself as you can see right there so let me see i might be able to peel it a little bit it's still wet underneath i'm not gonna peel it let her finish it herself but you can see right there it's a little bit moist and that's the little lubricant that you create in between but yeah, she's gonna be one. She's 100% head wiblet. She's a hypo, so he's gonna um, throw hypo as well. So we have hypo. At least we have hypo leatherback dunners, um, genetic stripes, and if he proves out wiblet, which is a, a big if, because it's only 50% chance, um, that'd be very nice. And then those babies will. 
And then I'll, I'll have another female I'll be breeding to him to to prove out the zero. I have two females to be proving out the zero. And um, then I'll know what to breed them to next year. I'm really hoping that he proves out. Proves out head Whitblit, because even right now without the Whitblit, he's a powerhouse. Um, but if he proves for zero in Whitblit, he's gonna be he's gonna be a super stud. But yeah, that's one of the females, and let me get the other female. All right, this female is in shed as well. Um, I'm touring between breeding her to my super red male, my my maroon red, um, male to get some like super dark genetic stripes, and then cross that back to some of the other stuff that I produced. But um, I do want to do that genetic genetic stripe experiment and try to prove some stuff out myself so i don't know if i might buy another female with genetic stripe so i could take to gmd or take him directly to her but she has some nice red as you can see um i might take her into my red project and then get genetic stripe in i'm um, using her but in unboxing she was in shed and she's still in shed as well but she's close to popping, so I'll be doing an update on both of the, the girls I just showed you, her and the one previous. And I'll be doing you guys an update on them too. But I think she, she can go either way. Her tail isn't that red, but her head and body, even though she's in shed, I can see how dark it is right here and in between. But she got some good red on there. So I might I might do her to my red male to get some red genetic stripes like I said and then keep females back from there and take it to the genetic stripes and do the experiment that way to add more color. But she has nice I like her spines on her head. Can't wait till they both shed out so I can get a good look at them. Because I haven't got a good look at them besides pictures prior to them going to shed. So I haven't been able to see them in person out of shed yet. So, But it's getting very close for both of them. Um, she, she's had... Uh, I think she said ah, had hypo. She almost jumped out. I think she said hypo and possible head trans. I have to double check. But I only really got her for the genetic stripe and um, who produced her. I wanted some new lines. She's getting ready to jump again. That's the only thing about filming by yourself. You only got to have one hand to really do stuff with. So when stuff started running and stuff, it's hard to keep control of them. But also, um, my Whitblit project. I'm going to grab her real fast. All right, so I got her. And like I said, my Whitblit project, um, I think I'm going to take it um, yellow. Not by design, but... That's what happened when I bought some stuff. I got that one hypo trans female that's possible double head, um, or probable head, double head for zero in Wiblet. Um, if she proves out, that's gonna be a nice, nice female as well. But she's nice right now just because her color. If she doesn't prove out, I'll take her all the way to just yellow, yellow project. But um, let me get her back up and I'll give you guys 
a quick video of the yellow female that I'm talking about. Alright, this is the female right here. Like I said, she's a hypo trans. Let me get in the shade a little bit. She's a hypo trans. Has a nice yellow on her. And she's 66% um, probable double head for Wiblet and Zero. Super nice girl. She's growing nicely. She's most likely going to go next year. I just don't know. I wish she wasn't um, visual trans or my whole back male, the GMD. He wasn't visual trans, so I could take them together to prove out their whip blitz and stuff. Try to prove it out together. Could you imagine a genetic stripe one like this? With the bright colors and then get that orange stripe going down the back. So nice. But yeah, if she doesn't prove out with Blitter at zero, like I said, she she go into my yellow project very well. She want to chill on my shoulder. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you guys some of my thought process. Um, as, like I said, I want to show you guys some of my thought process and some of the ideas that be running through my head. Maybe give you guys some ideas on some breedings that you can possibly do as well with your stuff. But... Got a couple different routes I can go with a lot of these animals. Um, this is, some of them still got a lot of growing, a lot of growing to do. So, depending on what I what I inquire between the time that they're um, the time right now and the time that they're ready to breed, these plans may change. But for right now, that's what my thought process is. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this beautiful girl here. Um, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and to the next video, you guys have a good one. I'm out. Peace.